Hi, I'm Greg from RVH Lifestyles, and sitting next to me... Hi, I'm Jonathan from Pacific Coast Heavy Truck Group. Jonathan is an expert at Volvo Trucks, and I'm pretty excited to be sitting here today with him. What our goal for the next set of videos is to share with folks who are wanting to design their own factory-built RV hauler. We want to share with those folks who want to build their own what things to include and what things to exclude primarily. When you go to a regular commercial dealership and you speak with someone unlike Jonathan, those folks are very practiced at building commercially engineered trucks. They do it all day. But when they have someone like my customers come to them, the expectations of an RV hauler customer are completely different than a commercial uh, driver would expect. So what Jonathan is going to teach us, Jonathan has an intimate knowledge of, of the features of these trucks and has experience designing these trucks for us, for our customers. He's an expert at this. What I'm also really pleased about is that Jonathan has been dealing with, directly with a lot of the engineers as I have been, uh, at Volvo in Greensboro, and they've shared with us some of the little gotchas, and that's our objective today. We're going to split this video up into a whole bunch of sections. We're going to be talking about engine and equipment in one video, safety will be a topic, transmissions, axles, brakes, and wheels. We're also going to talk about uh, chassis and some of the unique adaptations we have to do for our RV haulers. Uh, we'll get a video dedicated to the exterior, some of the things we want to do to the outside of the RV hauler. Volvo Canada truck, as well as a video dedicated to interiors, the cab, and the audio. And this is presently spring of 2017, and there are some new things that have come out in the marketplace that Jonathan is really versed about. He's going to be sharing with us. Uh, we're going to look at D11 engine as an interesting option. Jonathan's also going to share with us some of the changes we've seen in the D13 models. Uh, and I'd like to start. So thank you, Jonathan, for your, taking the time and, and, and uh, your willingness to share this information. And here we go. So stay with us. We're going to introduce the first video topic, which is engine and equipment next. <laughs> 